Hello, this is Bobby at Copel TV Repair, and this is my third take on that video because, as you can tell from uh, everything, I'm not very experienced at doing videos. Hopefully, I'll manage to finish that one. Uh, it is going to be an overview for everyone caring to buy Chinese stuff, and uh, it comes old, and I may have probably have done similar videos in the past, but this is coming up again, and uh, the whole thing about buying foreign, specific Chinese is hot topic now. It's going to become even more hot in the coming days and weeks of the trade war. There is a lot of good stuff that comes from China, and there's a lot of junk that comes from China. And uh, in the past, the junk was way more. In recent years, the quality naturally from them started to increase. Whoever tells you otherwise just doesn't know enough, and uh, their patriotic feelings are just getting in the way of a proper judgment. There is a lot of good stuff that comes from China, uh, but, but far not everything. And the stuff that you can find on eBay, in particular, maybe not the best one, especially stuff that is 10 years old, like this board. Uh, this board is hard to find in America. We repair them for seven, eight, nine years. Uh, I have many videos, how to test, how to repair, etc., etc. But this comes from China, and we had to buy because no, nothing else was available. It comes, it's probably functional. I did not even test it. But I, I did not test it because I'm going to repair it, and I'm going to do an overhaul on it, which means another... 60 minutes probably of work or so uh, to go over everything that there is to go over that board. And I may not show you everything, but I will show you enough to know when you buy stuff from China, you're exposing yourself to risk because whether they do it on purpose or whether because they're incompetent, does it really matter? I'm going to show you what is wrong and what is risky and dangerous and what is the difference and why you may end up paying more for a higher quality vendor. I cannot say American vendor because I have seen similar crap from American vendors as well. I have We have bought boards from Americans uh, selling on eBay and the boards that come as working come in similar and sometimes even worse condition. Chinese have gotten smarter and wiser. They're exporting these to local warehouses, so shipping is now faster and cheaper because when they put 10 or 100 of those on a ship, uh, shipping doesn't really... Uh, shipping charges doesn't cost them a lot. So they've gotten extremely aggressive and there's nothing wrong with that. This is something that they learned from Americans uh, or started using. Maybe they knew it earlier at some point, but anyhow. So here's, here's a number of things that this board that I haven't even tested, it's supposed to be working uh, and it probably will be. First things first, it was apparently repaired, which is easy to tell because this is not the original fuse. Uh, because the pair of the PFC switching MOSFETs fails along with the pair of the drivers for the VSVA air voltages, that's the first thing that I check of me. And one of the first things that you notice right here is that one of those transistors has a new silicon on it and the other one has the original, which means that they just replaced the new one or worse, cleaned up this one and just put new silicon on top, which would not make sense. I would guess they will, they, they have just replaced it. It doesn't matter though, whether they just replaced the silicon or whether they did not. Both of those need to be replaced. Those are, imagine I tell people, first of all, if any one of those two fails, both of them must be replaced for a number of very good reasons. But the single most important one is, well, long story short, it's going to apply the same way. Imagine you have a car with four tires and one of them busts from being worn out or from uh, going over a nail or anything. Do you want to replace just one tire uh, that has gone through whatever, 30, 40,000 miles and leave the other one uh, until it breaks 2,000 down the line? Or are you going to replace both of them while you have the car in the shop? The right way always would be to replace both of them, if they're driven a lot. If they're brand new, that could be a different story, but those are not brand new boards. They they usually fail because they wear out and, and fail. So there are other arguments too, which whenever any one of those, and then as a second rule, whenever that board was here for, let's say that pair had failed actually, we'll see there in a second. This needs to be replaced as well, because I don't want customers coming back uh, after a week or a month, and while the board is here, I would rather replace. So we always replace both pairs with new ones, and this way we know. When we replace them while at it, we also clean the, 
tighten the copper contacts in the back so that oh come on here so that those solders do not start cracking with them because of the very minimal i don't know it shows like it's uh yeah there you go so we clean the pads here and make a whole lot better solder joints not, not this is crap and the reason it's crappy it has not enough contact point between the this is manufacturing the fact samsung could have made it better for whatever reason they chose not to expose more of the copper that is underneath just to provide better contact i guess it has to do with automation so whoever did that did not replace those worse replace maybe just one of them did not clean and solder properly on the back this is the reason why the board was replaced in the first place and i can tell because both of those were replaced apparently aside from the very ugly cleaning job they made sure to secure them with silicone on top we don't do that at all for a number of reasons that i'm not going over but uh, again they didn't clean stuff on the back so those solder joints with time here around here all this needs to be cleaned up exposed better the legs need to make better contact with the base pad because otherwise the solder joint corrodes over time and uh, you have problems those two are enough the second thing that i noticed was the that little black disc can you see there at the back of the capacitor at, towards the bottom that means this guy probably smoked and was replaced so turning on the back anyone with experience can tell you can see the flux around the soldering and by the way this is not the original uh thermistor the original one is glued this is the uh, part with silicone this is the part where the silicone was this one isn't and the fact that it's not glued it's not problem the problem is i don't know what they put it may be proper it may be something that they just substituted and i don't trust them i don't trust people especially giving all the other signs on that board and this is by the way a uh, uh, one common way you can tell a board comes from china another common way you can tell that the board comes from china is that it's going to be dirty on the back they store them pretty badly uh, which usually affects them affects the way they look and you can see kind of kind of dust dirt uh, it just does not look like properly stored board this is relatively clean for what i've seen from china some of them are really terrible because they, they just store them in the open uh, conditions outside humidity and everything the small crack here is nothing to be particularly worried about those are very fragile boards the way they pack them ship them that happens in america too now another problem all of those solder joints need to be redone and some of them were but some of them weren't and other solder joints i'm not going to go over all of them also need to be redone because they are a common point of failure and there are quite a few of them all across the board this is not a how to repair boards i'm just showing why so anybody who is buying that board we, we bought it because we need boards to circulate sell them get the old ones back uh, just run our business with, with such boards uh it is just a crappy job this board is going to have a whole lot shorter life than other boards so what i have to do is the same thing that i do even if it works right now which it might uh, I will go over it, replace those, replace those, clean on the back, resolder everything, just make sure that board is properly working in a way that's going to make me comfortable that the customer is not going to come back in another three weeks. We give 90 days warranty, but usually after we do those boards, I would say they would work four years. Then something else will fail. And it actually has happened a few times. People send them back after a number of years. Uh, very recently, we had somebody who said, your board... came uh recently but um i mean uh, your board is doing the same thing you did a couple of years ago and it's doing the same thing sorry about the pulse uh, it was the phone on uh, phone was ringing and uh <laughs> the board was done in like um, maybe 2018 and it was working there was nothing wrong with the board uh they just assumed that it's going to be the same problem but when it's properly then that the repair on that board the improvements will increase the life expectancy a lot of course for any 15 year old board or 10 whatever they are uh at any given moment anything else can happen but that you know we don't know because it starts developing after let's say 12 years in service uh but overall 
This is what you risk when buying stuff from China. And not only from China, when you're buying used stuff, mostly. But I see it a lot from China. Again, not everything from China. Some of the new stuff that you got from there, some of the new tools. We, I do use Chinese. Uh, my rework machine came from China. Apart from a original initial problem where it came broken because of transportation issues and everything, uh, it's being knock on my head. You can see it uh, rock solid. Uh, it takes some research, it takes some time, and it's um, trial and error and so many. I mean, everybody who has dealt for a longer period of time with China will tell you similar things, but that's it. Um, do your research and uh, it, it, it does pay to be doing research and trusting companies that know what they're doing and they're not going to be as cheap as people who just want to push and sell and move, whether they're in China or in America or anywhere else. So this is it. I uh, hope you learned something useful. Best of luck with your repairs on uh, whichever side of the repair part you are. And uh, see you again soon.